I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. This is theCUBE Conversations here in Palo Alto. And my guest here is uh, Hamadou Dia. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. You're uh, Group Vice President of Enterprise Architecture Hardware right. uh, at Oracle. Yes. Great news uh, t today about growth and hardware. It's fantastic. Big, big news. Yep. Tell us about it. Yeah, we grew hardware for the first time. Uh, we uh, announced our result yesterday. We grew hardware year over year by 10%, which is a phenomenal growth. I think our strategy is paying off. Uh, strategy, you know, focused on building, uh, taking hardware and software and engin engineering them to work together is, uh, uh, is resonating very well with customers. Four years ago, Dave Vellante and I brought the Cube to Oracle Open World, and we were noticing kind of the vibe. It was kind of like a lull before the storm, kind of, of you know, I won't say old Oracle and now the new modern Oracle, but you had, you know, MySQL, you had the software investment, you had Oracle technology. Right. But that was just right when Larry kind of launched the whole cloud movement, which then became big data. In the next few years, just the energy has been phenomenal. You're seeing the ecosystem is energized to new solution sets, and this is the inflection point we're living in. So share with the folks your, your view of the market. Right. Uh, from four years ago today, what has changed? What's happening in the market? Obviously, hardware with the growth is showing this purpose-built and integrated systems is a winner. Right. Obviously, Sun has DNA of excellence, but what's happening now? What's happening is something we've never seen before, I would say. It, we are seeing massive disruptions in the marketplace. And because of, just uh, number one, uh, the Internet of Things. We, today, we, in 2012, there were $9 billion, $9 billion devices, Internet devices. There will be 50 billion devices by 2020. Uh, we're seeing information explosion. Uh, the amount of information that was created since the beginning of mankind was recreated over the last two years. And that information, that amount of information will grow by 50 times by 2050. So, and in addition to that, we're seeing significant growth in mobility. Mobile is the new PC. So, you take all these trends, compounded by the fact that we're new, uh, compounded by really these new behaviors from consumers because of social media and because of mobility, it's, it's really generating significant disruptions in, in the industry. And our customers, IT infrastructures, are significantly challenged because we've never had this massive amount of information to deal with. We never had this significant radical change in architectures before. Uh, we never had these, these security challenges we have to deal with, et cetera. So it's, 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 we're seeing massive disruptions that require significant changes and innovations in the way we handled IT like never before. The, the uh, mega trends always are, are in the news. You can't you know, go anywhere without bumping into, oh, it's cloud, mobile, and social, which by the way was our editorial strategy at the beginning right. of SiliconANGLE when we started. And no one was talking about this in 2009 and 2010. Right. But you mentioned Internet of Things, you mentioned mobility. Yep. This is a new data paradigm, right? right. Big data, call them, some people call it big data, fast data. Mm -hmm. Essentially data is at the heart of everything from right. sensors and I'll see now you know, watches that are programmable, yep. Google Glasses, devices, wearable computers. Right. Well, that's not going away. I mean, Fitbit reports data for exactly. health reasons. Yeah. Um, boy, the database market must be a hot section, right? So that's the DNA of Oracle, but that's, it's not a standalone database anymore. Right. So you're seeing a, a new innovation around what databases mean. And right. how, what's your vision in, in, from your customer standpoint? What's the opportunity and challenges that they have around the data? Absolutely, it's a great question. So, you know, information management, that's, that's the DNA of Oracle, managing information. We started as a database company. I think we know better than anybody how to manage information. But you are right. 
Now, the type of information being collected is, com is completely different. It used to be just relational data. Now it's a lot of unstructured data and massive amount of information. So it requires different solutions uh, at different level to handle this uh, the, the type of information that organizations are, are are collecting. So what's great about Oracle is that we this is the most innovative company uh, in the software and, and and hardware, and we've been planning for this, I would say, for a while. We have a comprehensive set of, of solutions that can help customers manage unstructured data, uh, NoSQL database, uh, Hadoop clusters, uh, and relational data. And we have a comprehensive set of solutions to help customers manage all type of information that's required today because of those IT trends. So the IT trends, data, mobility, security, these are all challenges. How are your customers responding uh, to those challenges and how can they respond faster? I mean, we hear agile programming, uh, time to value. You have really now a speed issue, right, to exactly. respond. How, how, do you, how do your customers respond and how can they respond faster? And a lot of our customers are faced with significant challenges because, you know, more than 70% of IT budget are still allocated to keeping the lights on. And uh, the type of transformation that's needed in their infrastructure requires some significant investment and innovations. And uh, most of our customers are, are looking to Oracle, for example, to help them really transform the infrastructures to, to handle these different challenges. And the second element that's really, it, it's, it's all about speed to deliver, speed to implementation. Because it's, it's, the amount of information is massive. The, the, it requires implementations, it requires sophisticated technologies uh, to handle the security, the information, the mobility, etc. So they're looking to organizations like Oracle to help to bring in innovations, predefined solutions to really help accelerate their time to implementation. We're here with Hamadou Dia, who's the Group Vice President of Engineering Architecture, Enterprise Architecture and Engineering Systems uh, here for CUBE Conversations. Uh, I want to ask you about the uh, the engineering system, what, the, what is it, what is it? I mean, people are always like, oh, it's Oracle end to end, but what is at the core of engineering systems and how do customers deploy? I mean, how is the, just take us through what it is and has it get implemented? Absolutely. So engineering system, it's really, uh, it, it's really about innovations and taking hardware and software, integrating them, engineering them to work together it's really, I would say the analogy, I would say it's, it's the iPhone for enterprise computers. Customers buy one product? Is it like, a, like a, there are a bill of materials or one product? How do they buy it? Yeah, customer buy, it's, 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 it's one product. So we do have these engineered systems. These are purpose-built machines that are highly optimized to run our database, for example. Our extra data machines, is the best platform for running Oracle databases. It's the hardware and the Oracle database and some and Oracle and software that help manage the storage between the Oracle database and, and the storage uh, servers. Highly optimize Oracle secret source, lots of innovation to to, re, to run the Oracle databases like better than anybody. So like the iPhone, obviously people can relate to the iPhone right. as obviously it's an iPhone, it works, it's got an app source, so it's not like it's closed, but it's right. open, people yep. can publish apps, but it's optimized for the user experience. So consumers get that. Right. How is it optimized for the uh, enterprise? From your standpoint, engineering system makes sense, okay, I want to buy an engineered systems, one product number, you handle all the disk, all the flash, all the stuff inside, it's exactly. all bundled, right? Exactly. What's the user experience uh, for the engineer? Exactly, and, and that is the whole point. It's today in enterprise IT, if you want to implement, if you want to deploy an Oracle database, you go see a, soft, a storage vendor, you buy storage. You go see a network vendor, you buy some network. You go buy, if you see a hardware vendor, you buy some servers. Then you have a, date, a DBAs, a sysadmin, a network admin, a storage admin, all you need to bring all those guys, all those people needs to bring all those different pieces together, and then 
to, uh, to and before you even start deploying the software. With an engineered system, customers don't have to go through any of that. It's pre-designed, pre-built. It comes with storage, network, servers, and the Oracle software deployed and already optimized. You know, I was, uh, I remember when I was in the 80s, when I was just graduated from computer science program, I, in the program I had a Sun box. It was amazing, Sun tool, early days of Sun. Right. Sun had a great run. Yeah. I mean, amazing uh, mini computer, great workstations. Yeah. Um, but then when Oracle acquired Sun, everyone said, oh, it's never going to work. It's Larry's dream to have a hardware. Um, but sales are up 10%. You're growing the business. So the idea of he took it as a trophy yep. and just wanted to have it around and take all the people and bring it into the software world, that didn't happen. Right? You have a really legitimate hardware business. The numbers speak for themselves. I'll see 10% growth year on year. Uh, but you have a lot of people who run Oracle, but don't run on Oracle hardware. So what does Oracle hardware and Oracle software, running Oracle on Oracle mean? Yeah. You guys talk about that, running Oracle software on Oracle hardware. What does that really mean? Exactly, so, and I think if you look at, you know, our strategy has always been, it's about innovating, delivering value to customers, and really we've spent more than $4 billion in R&D every year. We are, more, we are better suited for some task. We are focused on really taking, a, taking, I would say, low value, high cost task away from our customers, do it for them to help them really focus on their businesses, deploy applications, de deploy business solutions quicker. And, uh, and, and 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 that's weird. and that is why we're helping most of our customers today significantly reduce cost significantly optimize the oracle software by helping them move those applications or databases onto the Oracle hardware. Okay, so let me, do, let me just run through this to get this right. So take me through, I'm going to walk you through the use case. You tell yep. me if I got this right. Okay, so I'm an Oracle customer. I'm running my business on Oracle software, yep. and I'm buying a bunch of other off-the-shelf off stuff. I got servers here. I won't say the names of the vendors, but you know, they're all the same suspects. Like yep. Dell, I got some HPs, I got some mainframes and minis all over the place, non-Oracle. Right. Yep. So huge cost of uh, doing business, huge OpEx cost. I'm you know, running the business. Do I throw all that away and buy the new engineered systems? How do, how do you help me? So I say, okay, I want to do the Oracle hardware. Yeah. What's, what's the plan? Do I just throw the hardware away, move the software over? Is it a migration? Can they coexist? Great question. So a lot of these customers, they go through some refresh cycle. So most of typical hardware investment are depreciated over four years. So what we, and actually some customers don't even wait for four years to replatform just because of the significant benefits and values that you get from by replatforming on Oracle. Our proposition is pretty simple. It's that those customers, they are growing. They, they, they need more capacity to support their growth or their expansion into new market. They need to, uh, they, they need to run some some applications faster so we recommend we help them just migrate the applications as it is onto Oracle hardware and to reap the benefits that comes with it and they, they can do that at their recycle they uh, can do it cycle rate. they can do it during the at the refresh cycle rate uh, at the refresh cycle or before the refresh cycle we we, we help them we help put together a, mig a future state architecture for those customers, a migration plan, and really help them get from point A to point B. So they can still coexist. There's no disruption to the business. You guys come in there. Is there a specific architecture that you guys propose? Is, it, is there a staging area? Is there like a halfway house? Or is it like, well, full migration? I mean, how do you guys do that? And how do customers get there? What, what approach do they implement? What's the most common? Yeah, it, we have a pretty well-defined process for helping customers. I, I lead the, the architecture team for North America. That's, we, we, our job is to really sit down with our customers, understand what are they trying to do from a business perspective, what are their key pain point challenges they are faced with, design a new future state architecture for them, and really develop a migration plan for them. 
so and we help them migrate or we, 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 we provide them with all the assets and tools that can help really migrate the applications from competitive hardware onto Oracle hardware. Do you see winning, do you guys see that yourselves winning new business with the engineered systems that are not yet Oracle software? You come in and display some competition? Oh, absolutely. For example, we talked about our hardware growth. 30% 30% of our hardware revenue is, comes, now comes from engineer system. We are taking share from our competitors, and uh, we are seeing a ma many customers, a lot of customers are actually moving some of their, or, up, their Oracle workload onto Oracle infrastructure because of the benefit I've talked about. Uh, I have a customer, for example, a manufacturing customer in the U.S., la Fortune 500 company that runs Oracle eBusiness Suite, advanced supply chain planning, demand forecasting, that's a portfolio of Oracle applications. We're expanding into Latin America, but we're faced with significant challenges from a stability perspective, performance issues. We help that customer consolidate all those applications uh, onto uh, Oracle engineered system, helps them significantly reduce costs, accelerate their demand forecasting by five times, and help them accelerate their supply chain planning by six times. So I got to ask you the question, since you lead the North America group, uh, what, what's the feeling in, in, the, in the field, the troops? When you're in front of all your troops and you say, hey, all this disruption is going on, I mean, what's the vibe? People have a spring in their step or you, you need to hire more people? Or I mean, what's the, what's the guy on the ground uh, like in Oracle? Were they super excited? I mean, people are, it, people are very excited. I would say this reminds me as a dot-com era bec and uh, because it, uh, number one, it, it, it's, it's, we're seeing new technologies emerging, new companies emerging, new startups emerging. And, and at Oracle, we are very excited because we've been building the por Oracle portfolio for this time. And I tell my troop, this is our time because we have a unique portfolio uh, to help our customers address all these challenges whether it's internet of things, big data, mobility, social, we have it all. We have a unique portfolio that can help customers f tackle all these challenges. I mean, they, may, they must like it. I mean, for, from a, a go-to-market perspective, you want simple and you want to churn and burn, right? Here's a product, move on, not get stuck in the weeds, configuring and rolling out, right? You guys have this approach. Is that, is that kind of the vibe too? Exactly, and, 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 and they see it. It's, uh, even our customers, it resonates our customers with our customers very well. Most of our customers are looking to at cloud. It's all about speed. It's all about how quickly can I implement this business solution? How quickly can I enable this new business capabilities if I want to survive? So customers are not interested in really putting different pieces together, building systems, running them, maintaining them themselves. They want to focus on running their businesses. They want to focus on their competitors, gaining shares, growing the, the top line, that's really what they're interested in. So we are, we are very excited about our portfolio. We think we're uniquely positioned uh, to help our customers really face all these challenges. We're here with Hamadou Dia, the Group Vice President of Enterprise Architecture and Engineering Systems. Uh, he's the man who runs the North America customer interactions, rolling out the technology, the architecture, making things happen for Oracle's engineered systems, Oracle on Oracle. Uh, Hamadou, I'll give you the final word about the final question and get the final word in for you is, uh, what do you want to tell folks out there uh, about Oracle? E existing customers that you haven't got in front of yet, or people that aren't yet customers that you want to be customers. What is the bottom line with Oracle engineered systems? So what I, what I really want to say is that we've been, uh, Oracle is one of the most innovative company in the industry. And uh, uh, to, uh, customers today, have, we, we're seeing massive disruptions in the industry because of Internet of Things, big data, mobility, and social. And in order to face these challenges, in order to leverage this IT trend and stay competitive, you need 
highly innovative, highly scalable, highly reliable, highly secure environment. And it's really, you need a technology partner, an innovator that can help you, that, that can, that, that wakes up every day thinking about how to design and build those systems. And we are uniquely positioned to helping customers uh, face those challenges with our engineered system because that's what we do best, taking hardware and software, engineering them, engineering them to work together to deliver unparalleled, unmatched performance, high reliability and security. Well, we're big fans of the software-defined era of modern infrastructure, and it's certainly you need hardware to run that software, whether it's in the cloud or engineered systems. Good call, hardware sales are up. Uh, surprising everyone on Wall Street and certainly in the industry. Uh, Hamadou, thank you for joining. This has been a CUBE conversation with Oracle. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE and theCUBE. Thanks for watching.